फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट यू हैव राइटली स्टेटेड दैट द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ दिस बिल हैज बीन यूनानिमसली एक्सेप्टेड बाय द हाउस एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द रेलिवेंट पॉइंट्स हैव बीन मेड आउट एंड दैट नो टाइम ऑफ द हाउस शुड बी टेकन बाय रिपीटिंग द सेम पॉइंट्स अगेन एंड अगेन वन ऑफ द पॉइंट्स ऑन विच I want to lay stress, and which is being disputed again and again by the Treasury benches, is the question of cottage industries. Though you pointed out to them yesterday that there is provision in this bill to take into consideration the cottage industries also, and the honourable, the deputy minister. realized it again there was a point raised by mr sidwa today and the honorable speaker who was in the chair at the time said that the scope of the bill is confined only to the consideration of protection to industries as against foreign industries that is to give protection to the indigenous industries as against imported goods and the question of cottage industry does not come in here the honorable deputy minister detoured this unless protection is given to indigenous industries we shall not be able to develop industrially i wholeheartedly support this proposition i am not against it when i speak of cottage industries i do not for a moment think that our country should not be developed on the same lines as the other countries in the world i want that every villager should have the same amenities that we sitting in this house have every villager should have these furnitures fittings houses and so on the only thing is that the existing economy should not be disturbed and sacrificed before substitute arrangement is made before we give protection to any bigger industries the first thing we should consider is that the materials which are at present being produced in our villages to meet the requirements of our villages and on which the economic life of the villagers rests are properly safeguarded we should see that we have sufficient quantity of consumer goods to meet the necessities of all people in the country and nothing is done merely in the interest of 10% of the people at the sacrifice of existing village economy before making sure of some better substitute i find that at the present moment our attention is confined to the amenities and requirements of a person of the population only the other day my honorable friend mr krishna machari whom i regard as a great economist and who knows finance etc and looks to the interest of the country and gives very good advice said that we do not want to go to medieval age and the luxury of yesterday is the necessity of today and that few articles which we import today from many foreign countries and the few industries which we are starting for recreation and amenities of the people should not be grudged i 
एग्री विद हिम आई डू नोट ग्रज दैम बट लुकिंग टू दी कंडीशन एज इट इज टूडे एंड द सरकमस्टांसिस अंडर विच वी आर प्लेस्ड एंड ओवर विच वी हैव नो कंट्रोल इफ वी वॉन्ट टू डेवलप आवर कंट्री ऑन द सेम बेसिस एज अदर कंट्रीज हैव डन इंडस्ट्रियली एंड अदरवाइज वी डू नॉट हैव एट आवर कमांड ऑल द नेसेसरी मटीरियल्स एंड वी सिंपली कैन नॉट डू इट विद द स्पीड वी वॉन्ट वी हैव टू डिपेंड अपॉन अदर्स सो एट लीस्ट ड्यूरिंग द ट्रांजिशनल पीरियड इट मे बी दैट द नेसेसिटीज ऑफ य स्टडे मे हैव टू बी रिगार्डिड एज द लग्जरीज ऑफ टूडे एंड फॉर सम टाइम हैव टू टेक टू ऑस्टेरिटी टू बी सिक्वेयरली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड आई वेलकम्ड दिस बिल मोस्ट हार्टिली वेन आई वेंट थ्रू इट बट वेन द डेप्टी मिनिस्टर वॉज स्पीकिंग he probably overlooked or gave scant attention to one point i am referring to clause 12 in regard to the reference to the commission of matters arising out of protection of the things mentioned there is the different sectors of the country's economy on which the commission may inquire and report whenever we start new industries and give protection to them this clause is always neglected it should not be merely that the central government may also refer but they must refer to this as one of the conditions under clause 14 when the fiscal commission recommends that this tariff commission should take so many points into consideration the different sectors of the country's economy must be one of the points that must be taken into consideration the other day there was a question about the acquisition of the visakhapatnam shipping yard when we had to pay rupees 2 to 3 crores for acquiring it one of the points we took into consideration was the unemployment of 4000 workers and for keeping them in employment we suffered a loss in view of the agitation that was carried on we sacrifice the existing necessary supply of the villagers and throw them out of employment without making any arrangement for their substitute requirements and without providing them with alternative employment stop